the trouble we're in, regardless of the challenge we deal, if my people will call my name, will seek, humble themselves, and pray, seek my face, and turn. First Lady Emeritus, 
to our dear mother, missionary, deacon, just all of God's people. To my husband of 22 years as a mother. Franklin, to the Franklin girls, to my family and friends, to thank you so much for being here. I just got to acknowledge you because I truly appreciate you. If y'all can just stand just one brief moment. Desire to destroy everything that opposes him. That's right. Yeah. He's kind of 
similar to Satan. Who comes to steal, kill, and destroy. As Megatron strives to achieve his objective, Optimus, Optimus Prime is equally as dedicated to stopping him. He can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with him. And at the very end, he is for righteousness. He's for doing what's right, even if it cost him his life. And sometimes in the movie, it did. But sometimes he comes back. He just keeps coming back. So if you didn't hear that, He's for righteousness, even if it cost him his life. That should be a whole word for somebody in here. Amen. I remember distinctly at the end of Transformers, one of the movies, The Age of Extension, Optimus Prime looked to the heavens and said, leave Earth alone. He's coming back. All right. let, me, let me say that one more time because I think you missed it. Leave Earth alone. He's coming back. Yeah. 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 This year I turned 45 a little over a week ago. I've learned to transform. All right. All right. You see, I've learned to change the trajectory of my life by changing my mindset. Let me say that again. Because I've learned to change the trajectory of my life by changing my mindset. Saints, it's time for you to change your mindset. It's time for you to renew your mind. Oh, yes. You see, this is a game changer. No longer do we, God's chosen people, have to live sad, judgmental, unhappy, angry, hostile, broke, hurt, jealous, trying to prove your right to somebody wrong, being argumentative. degrading us. You cannot live this type of life. You can live this type of lifestyle if you want to, but hey, not me. I am so grateful that I have properly been introduced to Christ and he lives in And no one, no one can tell me about the goodness of Jesus because I know for myself. Psalms 81 and 6 states, I removed the shoulder from the burden, his hands freed from the baskets. Job 22 and 28 states, you will also declare a thing and it will be established for you. So light will shine in all your ways. Mark 11 and 24 states, therefore I say to you, whatever, whatever you ask for, pray. Believe that you will receive them and you will have them. The amazing thing about God is if he can trust you with a little bit, he can trust you with so much more. God's word tells Erica Franklin, God can afford me. And I got some needs. He tells me he can afford me and his word is true for you too. His word tells us that we are the head and not the tail. We are above and not beneath. We are members and not followers. And this is a fraction of God's amazing promises to us. Now that doesn't mean go get in debt and live beyond your means because he can give you everything he asks for. Because I've been transformed, I repeat this every morning. I am the best. I have the best. I drive the best. The best responds to me. That way, if I say that, ain't nothing you can do to, to tip my spirit. Because the best responds to me. I set the atmosphere. Even if I don't see it in the physical form, if I faith it, yeah. I can faith it. Yeah. Let me say that one more time. Because, see, that's a whole transformation for somebody. Hit that, hit that right there, Haley. If I faith it, I can fake it. Yeah. We only need faith the size of a mustard seed. I can fake it because I already made it. 
for the ones in the house that's heart, heartbroken. All right, teacher. Mm. Because I feel their spirit too in the house. Mm. God broke you, tore you down, so he can blow your mind. Did you get that transformation? He broke you to blow your mind. Declare to your neighbor, you will no longer live below God's standard. Now, I don't know about you, but God's standard is the best. So if you don't want the best, you don't have to repeat it. But I'm not I'm no longer living below God's standard. One thing about me you might notice, just like kind of Sybil said a little bit, my camp is very small. And this is purposeful. You see, now that I have transformed, I don't want nobody around me that I can't share my dreams with. That's a whole word by itself right there. You see, it pleases God when you operate in the spirits of abundance. So when I'm blessed, when I have enough, I'm able to bless others.
ago, you change your vision. You change the way you see everything. Romans 4, 17 tells us to speak those things as though they are. If it's a car you want, talk about the car. Speak to the car. Go look at the car. If it's a financial blessing you need, speak to your wallet or purse. Speak to it. Feel. When I spend money, I send money, come back to me. Zaggy 
is attending UAPB, and she's a double major in music performance and sound recording technology. And we have Kaylee, Kaylee, come on this side of me. Mommy, come on this side of me. Because y'all UAPB, this Philander School. Come on, come on, come on. This is my mama, y'all. This is why I'm so amazing. Arkansas at Pine Bluff majored in nursing. So I'm going to start with the wife. I'm going to whisper something in your ear, and I just need you to hold it for a second.
2023 school year. Yeah. Expect big things yeah. and big things to come. Yeah. Speak over your friends, yeah. your teachers, yeah. your schools, yeah. your grades, yeah. your tests. Yeah. Do the work. Yeah. We serve a magnificent God that never what he has done. Thank him in advance for what he's going to do, how he's going to blow your mind. Thank God that you have now been Haley. Oh, Lord, she's still in the spirit. Let's thank God for the messenger on today. Spoke to us about faith. I don't know about you, but my level of faith just took another, another step. My faith has increased another level. Hallelujah. And I praise God for it today. This is you Sunday. Amen. This is our with you, Sunday service. Amen. And the Lord he is good. Sister Franklin, you blessed our hearts today. I know you made your family proud. Amen. But I'm going to tell you, you made Pastor proud. You made Pastor proud today. Listen, because everything does not have to come to me, but for me to be happy. But when I see my brother, I see my sister. I see a, amen, a neighbor, amen, another church member receive a blessing, don't you know? Amen, that same joy, amen, if somebody gives it to me, I have that same joy down on the inside. I can run around this church the same way. My God is a good God. Amen, because listen, I got something. I want her to go in faith with me on. Amen. I still got a student loan that I'm trying to help out with. Amen. And if he can bless with the tuition right now, I believe he can go in and I believe I got some other witnesses in this house. Amen. That is carrying some student loan debt. I believe in God for he writes. some time now. And I'm waiting on the faith of God. Lord have mercy. God is good like that. I believe God. All things are possible. Are a church where love flows because God is in control? A church where God is really real? Hi, my name is Dennis Rogers, pastor here at the Greater New Bible Way Church of God in Christ. I would like to welcome you to our services. Service times are Sunday morning prayer and Sunday school, 9 a.m. Sunday morning worship, 11 a.m. 